What's going on YouTube? This is Prepper Princess. It is a whole new year and it is about time that I think we got back to basics. As you know, the economy is not really all that great and everybody's always looking for great ways to save money. So today I'm just going to go over really quickly how I completely got rid of paper products. Now you're like, you have paper products in your hand. Yes, I do. This is actually so old that you can see, hold on, you can see the discoloration because it's that old. I have not used it. So I haven't bought paper products in about, some of them I've never bought, but most of them in at least two years. And I'm going to go over the simple, cheap, or free, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? Like a, like a use, use this, not that type thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Dear Lord, you're killing me, Smalls. You want 30 bucks for paper towels? Oh my God. $48 for toilet paper? Seriously? $48, $39, 28, 30, 40, and 50, and 60 dollars for toilet paper. You're wiping your butt and you're just pushing it down the toilet. It's just, you're just in and out, in and out. It's garbage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You want $15 for two boxes of Kleenex? Are you kidding me? How much are we up to? Like $85 and people go through these in one month. This is crazy. Crazy. Ah, uh, the paper towel. Every housewife's dream. All right, folks, so first, paper towels are used for different things. Some people use them to use as a bib, wipe their mouths, wipe the, wipe the countertops. So one thing that I do for the countertops is I simply keep a drawer full of washcloths. And as you can see, they're used, they're stained. I line dry them so it makes them look all dingy. I don't like uh, using the dryer. But, you know, I keep a drawer full of rags here just to wipe off the countertop. And then below my sink, um, I've got my Dawn, which is what I use pretty much for all of my cleaning. I just have this old spray bottle. I fill one tenth of Dawn and the rest is water. That'll last me pretty much a year. This Dawn dish liquid is now about over two, it's two years old and it's still pretty, you know, I've got plenty left. I've got plenty left. I water it down definitely and because it's ultra concentrated and it's, you know, it's just amazing. I love Dawn, I use it for all my cleaning. And that is for the paper towel for the countertops. So you're probably wondering like, okay, Prepper Princess, what about when I wanna wipe my mouth? You know, I don't wanna use this dirty looking, you know, stained countertop napkin. Totally right, yeah, of course. So I have another drawer, which I keep over here, this bottom drawer here. And it's got like the real dinner napkins that I got at like um, a thrift store. There was probably like a nickel each. And then I got these as a gift, napkin holders. And you put them together and they look pretty, pretty cute. So they're in all different colors. So if you want to go all cool, the, the blue ones are from my grandma. The rest are from a thrift store. And they discontinued my favorite coffee drink. It no longer exists, so I have to go back to making my own. This was such a time saver. It cost, uh, they were 10 bucks at Smart and Final Extra, and it cost me 10 bucks to make my own, but making my own takes so much more time. So now I'm back to good old uh, espresso coffee and chocolate milk, which is what a Frappuccino is. <laughs> it's pretty much chocolate milk with half and half instead of milk, and then um, just, Look at that. Uh, I could cry. The toilet. I simply cannot live without toilet paper. Whenever there is a mad dad rush and everybody thinks the economy is failing, we have to go and stock up on toilet paper. Well, uh, when that happened in early 2020, I got myself a bidet and I was so hesitant to get this bidet. Like, I was like, that's weird. Only people in like Rome do that. And that's so odd. And I don't want to, I don't want to do it. And it took me a good two weeks to even try, <laughs> to even try it. But once I tried it, I will never go back and check this out. One thing I do, you guys are going to laugh. I put the date on my toilet paper rolls, right? 
here's the date. That's when I put that toilet paper roll on that roll, October 11th. And that's how long the toilet paper has lasted for one roll. I still have, I have another bathroom that has a roll on the roll and then I've got nine more. So I have 11 rolls of toilet paper and this one's not even halfway gone and well, you guys do the math. Um, and then once I do run out of toilet paper, I will use what people call family cloths. I don't know. I'll probably rip up a couple of t-shirts and put a little garbage can over there specifically for them. But the truth is, is that if you have a bidet, you seriously, you don't need, like you are so clean, you don't need to wipe at all. It's just not necessary. Um, and people always worry about, well, I don't understand the drip. Like, you know, how do I stay dry and stuff like that? Gravity does its thing. I got to tell you folks, it's just a matter of gravity. And once I'm serious, once you go bidet, you do not go back. You're just like, how did I live without this my whole life? I don't understand. And then another thing that uh, people do, of course, early in the morning, you come in, you wash your face, you maybe take a shower. But the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I blow my nose and people spend money on Kleenex. And I never understood that. I never did. I was like, people used to carry handkerchiefs on them all the time to blow their nose. So I have had these handkerchiefs for so long that, I mean, look, you can't even see, barely see the pattern on it because they're that old. And yes, I line dry them. So that's why they look all dingy, but it's, they're so faded. I use them every day. I've got about, I don't know, five or six of them. And I'm sure I paid like nothing for these, but you know, if you don't, you know, they sell them at Walmart for a dollar, but if you don't want to pay a dollar, just take up an old t-shirt that you don't like anymore, cut it into squares. You've got yourself Kleenex. You don't have to buy Kleenex. And another thing, every roll of toilet paper that you buy, it uses six gallons of water and six gallons of fossil fuels to get to you um, at minimum. That's a, that's a minimum thing. So one of the things about being a big money saver is not always about saving money. It's about helping save the environment. Um, you know, this is a 1.6 gallon flush. I got myself a, what is it? A toilet fill valve and installed it into the tank, which takes off about, um, a third of a gallon. So it takes it from 1.6 down to 1.3, and then I added another brick in there, so it takes it from 1.6 down to one gallon per flush. I've never had any issues. Um, you know, if you're a big number twoer, then maybe that won't work for you, <laughs> but it, it has done great things for me. It really helps not save on my water bill because it's so cheap to flush the toilet. You know, I might have to make a string of videos, like how much does it cost to flush a toilet? How much does it cost to do a load of laundry? How much does this cost? So how much does it cost to take a shower? You know, something like that. But you know, it's so cheap to flush the toilet. And this is really just about conserving water, right, mister? I mean, we want to, uh, we, ha, how rude. God, turn your back to me, you little booger. We want to be good stewards of the earth. We want to be good stewards of our money. And we just don't want to waste a hundred dollars a month on paper products. Hey, hey little booger you little booger check it out folks um, I took that picture and I had it printed on a canvas because I couldn't find artwork that I liked to put above my bed so um, that cost $30 the artwork I artwork I was looking at was $250 so I think I got a pretty darn good deal on that and and Rocky just doesn't care so that's awesome but Prepper Princess, what about us girls? You know, we, we need to buy feminine hygiene products. Reusable cloth napkins, folks. Now, this is not really a money saver. Again, this is more of a conservation type thing. You can go ahead and buy the pads, you know, buy, I, I'm not, this isn't something that I like would recommend to save money because it doesn't really save you money unless you start when you first, like when you're 12, you know, or 13 or whenever you, you get your, you know, whenever you become a woman. Now, folks, you're blossoming into a beautiful flower. I'm sorry, I'm in a giddy mood, but this isn't really for uh, money saving. This is more for water conservation and helping conserve 
our planetary resources. And these are made out of all natural, like hemp and bamboo, stuff like that. Uh, one thing I did notice about this is when switching from tampons and pads over to reusable stuff, um, it made my period shorter. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that. This might get demonetized, I don't know. But uh, my periods were lasting um, five to seven days. And once I switched over to the cloth stuff that had the all natural products, it went from five to seven down to three to five. Uh, it might be an age thing, I don't know. I started that around age 35 um, and I'm 40 now, still still a woman. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that's, that's something that you can do. Um, again, I just do it for, um, environmental reasons. It's not to save money. It's, it'll balance out to about the same if you're starting at middle age. So if you start around age 35, 40, I'm sorry, not middle age, middle age of when you get your period, but, uh, in the middle somewhere. So if you start around age 35, 40, you're going to break even. Um, but if you start at the age of 12, uh, you're going to save yourself about 75% uh, on feminine hygiene products. Uh, that you purchase. So that is my quick little video of how I went paperless um, and how I think that it helps the environment. It's not necessarily about helping your pockets, but I am a big environmentalist as much as I am a money saver. So um, there you have it, folks. Uh, my quick tips for just getting rid of paper products. There you have it. Uh, do what you can with what you've got. And I just stepped on something. And if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you are right. Prepper Princess out. Oh, don't forget to check out my book, Living on Almost Nothing. I will leave a link in the description below. Bye, guys.